Now then, where is Inspector? Oh, look, here he is, over there. Gosh, his face is... Ah, Nix! Gosh, his face is as black as thunder. But isn't Thornton normally yellowish white? This must be a ter terribly troublesome case. He always looks like that. Oh god, Nix, why? Perhaps he's fine. he finds everything troublesome. Let's ask. First explore. Nix, I can't see. I had a feeling. This clock is absolutely spot on, isn't it? To the second. Well, sure, having accurate time reference is a vital part of investigation procedure. Quite try to miss. Police and detectives alike. Nix, please don't. Always make have to make sure they have the, the correct time. Nix, please. Don't do this. Now all time is not a time. Wait, why did that go into a puzzle? A matter of time. Uh, okay. I just saw I have enough pick exactly the same number of pickers as there is in a day. Or a day. As uh, there is in a year. An old clockmaker needs help setting the time in these three clocks. The clocks each say different times. One says 405. Nix. One says 218. And the other says 305. One of the clocks is 32 minutes fast, another is 28 minutes slow, and one of them is stopped, has stopped completely. Set them all to the correct time. Uh, this is a math problem, isn't it? Why? Okay, we're gonna be here a while. Six and a half hours later. Let's do this. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock, she comes for nothing. Wait, why was Sherlock the one to solve this one? I I'm confused. You did it the correct time at 3.33. The old man looks really pleased and all, all of the clocks are right. Okay. A matter of time. Oh, jolly good, Shirley. Well done. Are you trained to be a police dog by any chance? Oh, sure. It's what I've always dreamt of. Pins. Oh, pinstripes. Shirley shows in training to be a detective dog, not a police dog. And he's made a very promising start. I give up. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. There's something here. Oh. Magnificent moustache! <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. The chair? Hmm? Oh, nice. Always go for the lamps, because those tend to have hint points. Not sure... Maybe it's because they're supposed to be the indication of... Uh, a bright light? Wait... Aha! Because, you know, the light bulb, the idea of a light bulb clicking in your head if you figure out the puzzle, or... Have an idea what's going on? Ah, you're here, cat. Good, I've been waiting for you to show up. I see you've got your usual entourage with you. We don't have kill our pets in the yard, but I'll turn a blind eye for now. I hear there was an incident at the Riverside Festival. Yeah, that's right. And the festival's in full swing already. I was actually planning on taking my better half on tonight to let the show, but now this has happened. People are saying it's a murder, is that right? Who told you that? Oh, it was me on the blower, wasn't it? But like I said, we don't know for sure. What exactly did happen, Inspector? 
Mm, well, I'll tell you what I know so far. Early this morning, a man and a woman fell from opposing banks into the Thames and haven't been since, seen since. But it sounds like it was no accident. The man was pushed by someone. Then it's clearly a murder. The woman on the other end checked herself in. Gosh, a murder and a suicide. You're not suggesting the two events are related, but just happened to occur at the same time coincidentally. We haven't managed to ascertain yet whether they're unrelated or not. There's people trolling the river as we speak, but we still haven't found either one of them. This is making my head hurt already. I agree with you, Sean. On the phone before, you said it was probably a murder, but not, might not be a murder. What do you mean by that? Do you know anything about the victims at all? According to our investigation so far, the girl was called Vic and the book was called Tim. Last name was not forthcoming. Both of them lived in Chancellor Lane, Lane, it seems. Well, blow me down with a feather. Everyone, everything seems to happen on our street. Apparently, the pair were set were set to appear as part of the Riverside show of devotion tonight. I wonder what's behind all this. It's my job to find that out, Sunshine. It seems I was requested personally to handle the investigation. And not only that, I have been told not to involve too many officers. On the one hand, I'm flattered, but on the other hand, I'm flummoxed. There isn't exactly much to go on. And I'm hampered by having so few officers. Oh, hampered by having so few officers at my disposal as well. Which is partially why I asked you to come down here, Cat. You couldn't lend a hand, could you? I see. So that's the situation. Tell me, who is it that asked you specifically for you, Inspector? I'm just on my way to see the person question. I added, happen. Tag along. I'm led to believe I can find, the, find her down at Guide Hall, Guild Hall. Guild Hall? You mean the Town Hall on Gresham Street? Yep, that's the one. Come on, check a leg. Alright then, let's lead the way. So close by. But I guess it would make sense. Well, Inspector is with us now. So this is a guild hall, is it? You can almost taste the history here. It's bustling, isn't it? Especially considering the late hour. It's a riverside festival, that's why. It's keeping everyone busy. So is the person that asked you to handle the case, Inspector? That would be the mayor of honor herself, Miss Piper Lowin... Lowinda. I think I said that name right? Wrong. Yes, I've seen her picture in the papers. A very sharp-looking young woman. They say she she's really been shaking things up since they took up office. She sounds like a force to be reckoned with. That she might be, but it doesn't help us find her. Where in this rabbit warren do you suppose she's it in or hiding? Why don't we ask that woman over there? Wait, I think this is her, isn't it? Oh, and the Oh, Joy, what the heck are you doing here? Wait. Aha! I had a feeling it was gonna be one there. Aha! Again, I'm looking, I'm first looking. Let's do this. Yep. Oh, hi there. One, two, one, two. How are you doing? Long is such a great city. I found so many puzzles while I've been running around, and I do love puzzles. Look, I came across this one just now. Yeah. <laughs> 
16 sports matches. Oh, I've heard of this kind of puzzles. The matches are lined up to show the number 3706. By taking one match, by taking away one match, you can spell out the name of a sport. Which sport is it? Wait. Oh, I have to ride it. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. I started turning my head out of confusion, and I think I figured it out. But come on, okay, that's a bit, that's kind of cheating, I'm gonna say. Because come on, you said you only need to remove, but you could have at least said, oh, and maybe reverse it. Ah, I don't know. But I think it is good old golf. Right? Mm, this should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Yes. You did it! If you turn the whole thing upside down, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying, come on. And then take one match from the E, it spells GOLF. Nice shot. That was fun, thanks! Oh, you're very welcome. Great exercise for the brain, huh? Hey, want to come for one with me as well? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure I could keep up with all the one-twos. I think I'll have to pass, sorry. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm starting to think I missed a few hint coins back there. Uh, excuse me. Would you point us to the direction of Mayor Lowinda's office, please? Oh, um, the mayor, yes. She's um, probably in her chamber. I should think so, anyway. Probably. That's it. Really makes us believe you know what you're talking about. Uh, Miss Lowinda's um, secretary, I, oh, I'm Miss Lowinda's secretary, er, uh, hesitate. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Do you, do you need to uh, see the mayor about something? She's extremely busy today. I'm not sure that she'll uh, have time to fit in an unscheduled appointment. I didn't realize the mayor had so much to do. Considering the mayor runs the town, yeah, it makes sense you would have a lot to do. Oh well, um, Miss Lowinda is a very dedicated individual. As I'm sure you all know, she's taken it upon herself to, to totally revolutionary. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, to totally revolutionize the way the city is well governed. At present, she's um, pushing forward her plans for environmental projects as well as welfare reforms. Golly. She surely, certainly does sound like she keeps herself busy. Yes, and of course now it's um, the festival as well. Is the mayor personally involved in the running of the festival then? Most um, definitely. Mayor Lowinda goes to the extreme lengths to ensure the festival's success. Every year she plans a great deal of the events herself and she's um, Always present on site to oversee the thing, the setting up and the other arrangements. And this year's festival is a, was on a larger scale than last year, so it's um, been all hands on deck around here. Haha, <laughs> um, ha. Well, I'm very sorry to disturb you at such an obvious and busy time. If you could just tell us that the where the mayor's office is. Of course, you just side and up in the um, stairs. Good day to you now. The mayor sounds so busy, I wonder if she'll agree to meet with us. Well, it was her who asked the inspector to investigate, so I think she'll make time. Well, let's go see. Go and see. Yeah, I'm starting to think I missed a few hint coins back there. Because I'm only finding two, then apparently two, you can find three. Mayor Lowinda. Ah, there you are over there. Cool. Let's go and talk to her then. Uh, oh. Really, speed isn't important, really. Aha! Hmm. 
Mysterious mask. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Again, like I said, the pattern these things tend to be at the... Oh, nice! Yeah, maybe there are three end coins and I probably missed a few in the beginning. I'm gonna have to go after those later, aren't I? See, I don't even know why I'm doing this because I'm not 100% in this game, but still! Uh, please don't have a puzzle for me. She has a puzzle for me, darn it! Mary Linda, sorry to bother you when you're so busy. Inspect Acing CID. Ah, Inspector, I'm pleased to finally meet you in person. And your colleagues are? Ah, yes, these three. Well, these two in the dog are from the Leighton Detective Agency. The Leighton Detective Agency? That's right, I've listened their help for this case. Miss Leighton has proven herself an extremely capable crime solver. Only the other each helps solve a very difficult case for us. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mayor Lowinda. Catriel Leighton, at your service. Feel free to call me Cat if you prefer, or Catriel. I really don't mind. And I'm Miss Leighton's loyal assistant, Ernest Greaves. Hello, Ernest, and your dog. Is she also part of the, is she also part of the Leighton team? Absolutely. Although she is a he, she sure performs police dog duties for us. Is indispensable to the work we do. She. She? Well, that's good to hear, because the success or fail of the Riverside Festival really hinges on resolution of this case. In fact, I hope I won't take offense, but I'd like, I'd like to see your skills in action by having you solve this little puzzle. Of course. Boy meets girl. A boy and girl lost in a maze guide them each in turn along the path until they meet. Switch between control of the boy or the girl using the on R and move them using the direction of the direction of buttons. When they trail on a switch on the ground, any gate with matching flowers elsewhere in the maze open up. Oh. Okay, so he needs to be pre Okay. Oh. No. Sorry. Ah, darn it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah. No way. Yeah. So the yellow one is just a big this gun. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. The boy and girl safely back together again. We. Well, that's very impressive, I must say. Your puzzle solving skills are abundantly clear. I still don't get the correlation between puzzle solving and detective work. Because again, I get it's a game and you have puzzles, that's fine. But what's the, what is the correlation between detective, pu detective and puzzles? I don't get it. I feel confident that I can trust the Riverside Festival case to you now. Oh yes, Miss Lowinda, you can count on us. There are a number of troubling points about this case. Most notably, the stark resemblance of the Legend of the Thames. I'm not aware of a Legend of the Thames, I'm afraid. You see, I seem to recall hearing about something, something like that before, but I forget the details. Allow me to explain. The tale goes like this. Long ago, 
a young man and woman, each from the, from the distinguished London household, fell in love with each other. However, the two families were enemies, so the couple's love was forbidden. They were forced to arrange clandestine meetings every night, each coming as close as the other as they could on opposing banks of the river. The woman's father learned of their activities and arranged one stormy night for her lover to be pushed into the river. What a stinker! The current was too strong for the man and he was swept away, for, away to his death. Witnessing her lover's tragic end, the woman was heartbroken and threw herself into the river as well, ending her own life. This sounds like Shakespeare but with less stabbing. I see. It said that couple's bodies were found days later, locked in an embrace. From then on, the ghosts of the couple were believed to draw young lovers to the river, river on clear, starlight nights as they lamented their tragic fate. So to appease the ne uneasy souls of the departed lovers, a festival was established. And that's the origin of the current Riverside Festival, I presume. That's right. It's a terrible, sad terribly sad story, but in the end, the couple were united in love. Which is all led to, to the belief that gazing the, as your loved ones across the Thames will bless your relationship with good luck. Okay, not gonna lie. For me, that sounds more like if you do that, you're probably end up getting betrayed and killed. Eh, but then again, who knows. Ah yes, that's the idea behind the Riverside Show of Devotion, which is happening tonight, of course. But what an extraordinary similarity between the latter and the case we're currently investigating. Yes, it's, an e it's either an incredible coincidence or some contrive con someone contrived to mimic the latter on purpose. Hmm, interesting. It's a terrible shame that such a dreadful crime has slowed the festival. So many Londoners have been looking forward to it. We must get to the bottom of it at once so that the people's minds can be put at rest. I was told you'd ask for me to leave this case, investigating is a very small team of officers, Mr. Winder. Oh god, Nix, you're back. I don't understand why you wouldn't want the old force working it if it's important to get it resolved quickly. Yes, the problem is, a great many members of the public are present at the scene because of the festival. If you send a swath of police officers, will utterly destroy the atmosphere. I mean, fair enough. After all, we're not even sure if it is a murder, an accident or a suicide that we're dealing with. Nix, don't. I sound like I should... Wait, I should like to avoid alarming the public by keeping the investigation as low-key as possible. Hmm, I see. Still. Inspector Hastings. Everyone tells me what a talented police officer you are. They do? Yes, I hear a dedication and passion about, about your work. One of the most admired detectives in Scotland Yard. Which is why I would I know I can lay on you to carry out this investigation swiftly and discreetly. Well, I um, I don't know what to say. Out of such high praise, I can hardly turn you down, can I? Thank you, Inspector. I am grateful to you too, Miss Layton. Oh, and I'm grateful to you too, Miss Layton, and your assistant. Now, I'm afraid you're rather busy. After the show of devotion tonight, the mayor always makes a speech. Of course, yes. We'll let you go get on. Thank you. The, best for the festival is very close to, to my heart, so I do hope you'll get a result soon. Nix, don't. You just leave it to me, Miss Lowinda. One of the most admired detectives at Scotland Yard? He's sort of dedicated and passionate about his job, but that's something of an overstatement, isn't it? Just, just a bit. Shh, he'll hear you, Miss Layton. <laughs> I think that's all I have to do here, right? So... Okay. Yeah, apparently we need to use the back to move. 